This video is a step-by-step -step guide to apply for a Canadian passport for a child under 16 years old from inside Canada. A child's passport is valid for a maximum of five years. It's valid until it reaches its expiry date, even after the child turns 16. You cannot renew a child's passport if it's expired. When the child turns 16, they can apply for an adult passport, which can be renewed. Until then, you need to apply for a new child's passport when it expires. There are two ways you can apply for a child's passport from inside Canada, by mail or in person. If the child needs the passport in less than 25 business days, select in person to make sure you get it in time. You can only apply for a child's passport if you're one of the child's parents, and you're not separated or divorced, or you're the parent who has custody of the child if you are separated or divorced, or you're the child's legal guardian. Step 1. Gather all necessary documents. You need the following documents for your child's passport application. Two identical passport photos. The photos must be taken no more than six months before the date you submit your application. On the back of one of the photos, the photographer must write their name, their complete address and the date the photos were taken. Your guarantor must write on the back of one of the two photos, I certify this to be a true likeness of, the child's name and sign. Read the full photo requirements for more information. The link is in the description below. You need to submit any valid Canadian passport or travel document issued in the child's name. If the child's passport has a valid visa in it, tell Passport Canada on your form if you need the visa and want the original passport back. If you don't, the visa could be damaged when the previous passport is cancelled. You need to submit your child's original Canadian birth certificate or Canadian citizenship certificate as proof of your child's Canadian citizenship. The document will be returned to you. You can choose or update your child's gender identifier on the new application. If your child's proof of Canadian citizenship doesn't have a sex field and the gender identifier isn't supported by their previous passport, you need to submit a completed request, sex or gender identifier, child under 16 years old PPTC 644 form. The link is in the description below. You need to submit proof of parentage. If you are the child's parent, you may not need proof of parentage if the child has already had a Canadian passport or travel document and the same parents are applying for the new passport. Otherwise, you must provide proof of parentage to confirm the parent-child relationship, such as a detailed birth certificate from a Canadian province or territory that includes the name of the parents. A court-issued adoption order that has the name of the adoptive parents, or a foreign birth certificate that has the name of the parents. When applying for your child's passport, both parents must participate in the passport application, sign the form and be ready for Passport Canada to contact them. You need to submit proof of legal guardianship, if applicable. If you're a legal guardian applying for a child's passport, make sure all other legal guardians participate in the application, and you submit proof of legal guardianship. When a court order or agreement exists referring to custody of the child, only the person with custodial rights may apply. If parents have joint custody, either parent may apply. You must provide all documents that refer to custody or mobility of, or access to, the child. If a divorce has been granted, you must also provide a copy of the divorce judgment or order. All documents must be submitted in either French or English. If a document is in another language, an official translation must be provided. Now we've prepared all required documents. Let's go to Step 2. Find a guarantor When you, the parent or legal guardian, apply for a Canadian passport on behalf of a child, you will need to find a guarantor to sign the application and one of the passport photos. Your guarantor must have known you personally for at least two years and must have knowledge of the child. Be available if Passport Canada needs to contact them. Be able to communicate in English or French. Be a Canadian citizen 18 years of age or older. Provide the information needed that's in their passport. Have been 16 years of age or older when they applied for their own passport. Hold a 5-year or 10-year Canadian passport that, on the day you submit your application, is valid or expired for no more than one year. As long as they meet these requirements, your guarantor can be anyone, including a family member or member of your household. Again, the guarantor must fulfill the following tasks free of charge. Complete and sign the Declaration of Guarantor section in the application form. Write I certify this to be a true likeness of, the child's name, on the back of one of the two photos and sign it. Sign and date each photocopy of documents provided, 
in order to confirm the child's identity. If you can't find a guarantor, you must complete the statutory declaration in lieu of guarantor form, PPTC 132. This form is not available online. To get the form, go to the nearest Service Canada that provides passport service. You also need to find someone who can administer an oath, to swear to and sign the form. This can be a notary public, justice of the peace, or commissioner for oaths. This person doesn't need to know you personally. Step 3. Complete the application form. Now let's download the child's passport application form PPTC 155. The link is in the description below. You can complete the form on your computer. Read the instructions at the end of the form first to make sure you complete it properly. You need to complete the first two pages of the application form and print them. Your child is not required to sign the application form, however, children aged 11 to 15 are encouraged to sign the application. No one other than the child must sign in the signature box in Section 1. You, the applicant, must sign the first two pages of the application form. Again, all parents, including all legal guardians, are requested to participate in obtaining passport services for the child. The other parent or legal guardian also needs to sign the first page of the application, and may be contacted by Passport Canada. If you do not know the current whereabouts of the other parent or legal guardian, contact the Passport Program. If any of the other parents or legal guardians are deceased, you must enclose a copy of the death certificate with the application. When completing Section 2 on the application form, you must provide as much information on the deceased parent or legal guardians as possible. Your guarantor needs to complete, sign and date Section 6, Declaration of Guarantor. Step 4. Pay Application Fee The application fee for the child's passport is $57. You can pay the application fee by certified check or money order in the exact amount, payable to the Receiver General of Canada. Or, you can pay by credit card or prepaid card. If you are applying by mail, you need to complete Section E, Credit Card Information on page 3 of Form PPTC 155. If you are applying in person, you can also pay by debit card or prepaid card. Now go to the Step 5. Step 5. Submit the application. You can submit your child's Canadian passport application, in person or by mail. If you are applying in person, you can go to any Service Canada Centre that offers passport services without an appointment. Walk-in services are not guaranteed. They may not be available at busy locations. If you want to make an appointment first, you need to complete the online Service Canada form. The link of the form is in the description below. Complete the required fields, Click on Passport Services, Appointment Request for a Passport Service. Check the box beside if you need to apply in person, select this option. Service Canada will call you back to schedule your appointment. If you are applying by mail, check Section G of the Application Form PPTC 155 to find out where to mail your application. We recommend that you use a certified courier or traceable mail service to reduce the delivery time of your application and help protect your documents. Now let's go to the last step. Step 6. Receiving your child's passport. If you applied by mail, the passport and any original documentation you submitted, such as your child's citizenship certificate, will be returned to you by mail, and may be in two separate packages. If you applied in person and paid for a pickup service, the pickup date will be indicated on your receipt. You can send someone else to pick up your child's passport, if they have valid identification and written authorization from you to do so. A child's passport does not need a signature. A child may sign the passport and children over the age of 11 are encouraged to sign. If a child does not sign, the signature block on page 3 of the passport must be left blank. Never sign your child's passport. A parent's or legal guardian's signature makes the passport invalid. Print the signature policy and bring it with you when you travel in case you are asked to sign it. The link is in the description below. 
For more information on Canadian citizenship and immigration, subscribe our channel and click the notification bell.